guys, it's going? My name is Cyclone Hunter, and welcome to another episode of The Crown and the Flame. So, in the last episode, we reached the Technocrats area, and apparently that's where we left Kenner, which we're going to the maze. Uh, didn't really do anything with that yet, but now apparently we have a new weapons master whose name is Hex, and apparently Hex is a dominatrix. That's why they both end with X. So, uh, yeah, apparently, um, we got a, we got a dominatrix in this bitch. Here we go! Something slams against the inside of the box, making the guards on either side of it jump. Hey! Settle down in there! Oh, yeah! Dominic, what do you think is in that cage? It looks part of the new rabbit. It must be something, Alpha. It must be a mess. Maybe we can sneak a closer look. When we get the armada to shoot down the missiles. This is exactly why I didn't want to tell you. You just gotta drag us into your schemes to get us all killed. I just it. I got it not clear. And now, doll, I told you already, I'm done, and you should be too, Rose. Tristan storms off. Um, he didn't mean that. It's, it's been hard since, since our mother died. Give Rose a hug. Uh, I love this song. Rose leans against us, wiping a tear, a few tears away from her cheeks. I'm sorry. I don't apologize. Margaret was like a mother to me, too, but I can't imagine how much worse it is for you and Tristan. Every morning I wake up expecting to, expecting her to be there, checking me for sleep in my inner humming to herself as she's cleaning, but she never is, and she never will be again. Rose holds back a sob, hiding her face, burying her face in her shoulder. We hold her close until her tears subside. Just remember that she died a hero, protecting the innocent. You're right. She was so brave. I hope I could be as brave as she was. Thank you, Dom. I didn't know what I'd do without you. I'm here with you, Rose, whenever you need me. One of these days, we're gonna get it out. And I'm gonna grab you by the- Nope, not saying that. Okay. Okay, so, back as playing as Kenna, the female leader of this shit. Us, our companions and us walk the desert sands, drawing Everly closer to the- Towering Labyrinth! Careful! We shouldn't assume the traps will only be inside the Labyrinth's walls. Agreed. We should keep our eyes peeled for any sign of. You! I see you over there! Oh my god! If you leave a trouble, you value more than you bargain for! Like, oh my god! Who are you talking to? I'm talking to that scrawny mud hiding behind that rock! Come out now before I drag you around by your ears! Oh my god! Slowly, a young man emerges from the behind a boulder. As he shows us his empty hands, we see that one is mechanical below his elbow. Below the elbow, and the other below the wrist. Ooh, so he has robot. Ooh! Oh shit, you look cool! Uh, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean any harm, but. I don't hurt, but please don't hurt me. That's exactly what we're going to do if you don't do what we say. I'm like, oh my god! Stop bullying him, he's just a boy. He's obviously not a threat, Val. Relax. Uh, 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 sorry, it's. I've seen boys younger than him who would take your ear off as a joke. Okay. What's your name? It's Whitlock. 
I'm just trying to get to the foundry. I heard I'd be a, it, I'd be safe there. Who told you that? The old blacksmith who works, uh, who works, uh, uh, what in my town before the blood troops came and took everyone away. He said there's no one in the family that everyone spends their days building and learning. I'm miserable at fighting. Making things is all I'm good for. Well, Whitlock, we're trying to get to the foundry too. Do you want to join us? Really? No, let me come with you. I'll take that as a yes. Let's go. I can see the entrance right over here. Oh, shit. Shit! Passing through a rusted archway, our companion and us take our first steps into the labyrinth. So, just what kind of mortal danger should I expect in here? It could be anything. Poison spikes, walls that move together to crush you, hidden pitfalls. A dead cow, wonderful. It's not technically a death trap, it's more like a test or a riddle. We had to solve it to prove we're worthy of a meeting with the technocrats. Leon walks over to a spot where several arrows are stuck into the wall. He taps the shaft with an armed finger. Armed finger. They blow through arrows, that riddles. We should find a way to mark our path if needed. We can retreat back through the entrance. Behind us, a two story tall metal door slams down over the archway, completely blocking our escape. Fuck! Looks like the only way out is through. Oh my god, look at this place. Oh my god, look at this place. Sheer scale of the buggles of the mine. These gears over there are massive. Right, Spock? As Whitlock moves ahead to examine some machinery, we pull our companions aside. What do y'all think of him? He seems innocent enough, but then many dangerous people do. We should try to find out more about him. His story doesn't add up. He's just a kid, but he made it to this far on his own. He's not telling us everything. What happened to his hands? Hey, you, you know I can hear you. Spark. Oh, uh, sorry. If you must know, I lost them while I was squire to the Navracus Knight. Not a job I would recommend, by the way. You were in you were in the Navracus army? Briefly, yes. I'd be happy to tell you the whole story. All you had to do was ask. Can you resist the Navracus soldier and help a group of villagers escape a terrible fate? Play as Ritlock to experience the harrowing tale within the Navracus army fist hunt. You also have the chance to earn prestige points and boost your army score for the final battle. Sorry, I don't have an op stop. Sorry, my man. <laughs> Suit yourself, Spock. Whitlock moves on down the corridor, examining the machinery in the halls. So see, I believe him, because if this is a story like that and it's able to give you some more prestige, I believe him. Whitlock moves on down the corridor, examining the machinery in the walls. Wonderful. But it was by to us every stranger who could be able to stop on the door. I didn't say I trusted him, Leon. Once done is done, I suggest we keep an eye on our new companion until we're sure he means us no harm. Way ahead of you! I can make out! Be on your guard, everyone. Let's see what the labyrinth has in store for us. Oh no. And that's where we're ending it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with y'all guys' friends, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Bye, guys.